Today I'd like to visit with you about removing some of the old data from your system. Uh, as you utilize the system over a number of years, you'll begin to accumulate tickets that are very old and you don't have any particular need for them to remain out there any longer, so you're ready to just dump them off your system. Now then, before you begin to do any of this sort of thing that we're going to discuss today, I have uh, one ultimate suggestion for you, and that is that you go into each of the three pieces, into elevator, shipper, and daily, and do a backup. I would suggest that you back this uh, up to either a flash drive or possibly a portable hard drive, something that can physically be removed from your computer, placed into a secure location, and maintained so that you could have this historical data if you should ever need it back again. The assumption is that you're pretty well satisfied you won't need it again, but uh, there's always that possibility that you may want to retrieve some of it again, and if, it's, if you've got a backup, you can always get it back. An additional consideration that you'll want to make is that you only want to remove tickets if your daily position is, if you're happy with your daily position at some point in time. Uh, let's say that was a year ago and you're happy, you were balanced, you were satisfied with all of your regulatory people that this is the right number you should have and that there's no likelihood that you're going to have to retransfer from old tickets to get yourself back into balance again. So, uh, given those disclaimers, um, it's, uh, it's time and if you're ready, we'll take tickets off. So, we, get, we begin the process by going into the inbound. Uh, we take a look and on the left side and we see this button about two-thirds of the way down on the left that says reset. Picking that one, this is, this is where we will remove information from the system. Uh, naturally, you can delete a single ticket if you wanted to any time, but this, this is a mass delete, and it's not something you're going to want to do uh, on, an, on an everyday kind of basis. My suggestion is that you probably ought to start with the first one, remove tickets by grain, and that's, that's generally the one that I suggest to folks to use. Now, there are a number of others. Remove tickets by date removes all the grain prior to some date. It doesn't make any difference whether it's wheat, corn, soybeans, whatever. Uh, if it's prior to that date, it takes it off, whereas the one that I suggest is sort of after a after a crop year's finished or a couple of crop years are finished, you can go back and drop off some of that old data for that particular uh, commodity. Uh, you, you also see the other ones there where you can take off all your tickets if you want to. You can even take off all the customers, none of which I recommend, but uh, you can do what you want to. It's your data. All right, let's look at the one that I recommend here, this remove tickets by grain. Selecting that, you see that our options are Tell it what grain we want to do, and we're going to say wheat in this instance. Uh, tell it what date, and we're going to say 05, 01, 15. And then we get to this, should we take off unsettled tickets? I generally don't recommend you take off unsettled tickets because they potentially could be stored grain. They could just be tickets that hadn't been, hadn't been paid to your customer or whatever. But, again, it's up to you. You decide what to do. I'm going to leave it out there with an N. And... You do see this big red screen that uh, is going to get your attention. This is not something that you'd probably run accidental, and that's why we put the big red screen to get your attention, and uh, that this is a, a pretty detrimental thing that you're doing in terms of removing stuff. Okay, we're going to pick the OK, and just that simply, we removed all the wheat tickets that are dated prior to 5 1 19, uh, uh, 2015. And in fact, if we go up here and look at the uh, tickets that are on file, arrange them by date, and if we go to the oldest date, sure enough, you see that there's nothing prior to 2-1-15. They're all, they're all oh, uh, more recent than that. Okay, uh, that then is getting the tickets off. If you want, uh, I generally also... Uh, suggests that when you take off tickets that you also think about taking off uh, customer contracts. The, uh, when you select customer contracts you are given the option of what grain do you want to do. Remove 
remove contracts that were dated prior than what date? Now, again, I'm going to say 05, 01, 15. Uh, and do I remove unfilled contracts? Well, that's a decision between you and your customer and so forth, and I'm going to take them off. So that way I'm getting rid of the old contracts that may have had a fraction of a bushel left on them or something like that, just to get rid of all that, that, that old data that's dated prior to the date that we're talking about here. Okay, and then if I go to like other reports and do a contract summary for wheat, I think you'll see here that uh, sure enough there aren't any records out there. That then is pretty much the inbound side of removing tickets uh, and contracts. Let's now look at the outbound side. Uh, so we'll go into Shipper. Notice there's a similar button over here, Reset Files. We pick that one. And now then you have the option again of taking everything off, erase them by date, and erase them by grain. And generally, um, I would do the grain, and I'll say wheat, and I'd probably say the, exactly the same dates, 05, 01, 15. And sh if we delete all those and done that simply, we go look at examine change shipment. And if we order them by date and go to the bottom, sure enough, you see that there's nothing uh, that's that's uh, all the all the tickets that are left are are since 5-1-2015. All right, that pretty much. Uh, well, let me show you uh, maintain contracts. That this is a little bit bigger one, and uh, y'all, you this is something you'll also want to do to keep. Keep your, uh, keep your system tidied up a little bit. Uh, what you do is you go look at your contracts, and unfortunately, we don't have a mass delete on these. So you pretty much have to do them one at a time, and you can see that uh, these are old ones, and uh, so what I'm going to do, the, they're dated prior to the 2015, and you highlight the one you want to delete, press delete, delete, and it's gone. And you continue to do that for all of them uh, that you want to get rid of. I'm sorry that we don't really have a better a better means of doing this in mass right now. That'll be uh, something we'll consider adding in the system later. But for now, that's how you get rid of uh, outbound contracts one at a time. All right, uh, that's pretty much how you uh, go about taking old data off your system in terms of the inbound and outbound. There's a separate video that talks about adjusting your daily position and, and restarting it as of a gi given date and you'll need to visit that if you want to uh, worry about your daily position. But this is the inbound and outbound delete and I hope that you'll join us again sometime uh, for another one of these videos. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon.